Elite Facts presents 10 Most Influential Musicians 10. Queen When rock music is mentioned, one of the first bands people think of is Queen. Sure, their music isn't heavy, but you simply can't deny the impact they've had on the genre as a whole. Queen are an English rock band that was formed in 1970 in London by guitarist Brian May, lead vocalist Freddie Mercury, drummer Roger Taylor, and bassist John Deacon, who ended up joining the band the following year after it formed. Queen rose to prominence during the 1970s and are one of Britain's most successful bands of the past four decades. Whether it was Freddie Mercury's vocals or the fact that all their instruments were layered perfectly to create musically diverse songs, there's no way you can deny the impact they've had on music as a whole. 9. Black Sabbath Possibly the precursor to both heavy metal and psychedelic rock and roll, Black Sabbath formed in 1968 but didn't really see commercial success until 1970 with their first hit album, Black Sabbath. With this release, they brought themes which hadn't been heard in music before, like doom and the devil. The one thing, however, that set Sabbath apart from other bands was their sound. Instead of the upbeat, lively sound you'd hear from artists like Jimi Hendrix and the Beatles, Sabbath had a much darker sound and more brooding and doom-like tones in their lyrics. The original band lineup was Ozzy Osbourne on vocals, guitarist Tony Iommi, Terence Geezer Butler on bass, and drummer Bill Ward. Black Sabbath remains a dominant influence in the heavy metal genre that they helped to create. 8. Pink Floyd Pink Floyd are an English rock band who were among the pioneers of psychedelic music and, as they evolved, became more well-known for their progressive rock music. They're known for philosophical lyrics, sonic experimentation, innovative album cover art, and elaborate live shows, and are widely regarded as one of rock music's most successful acts. So popular that it spent 741 consecutive weeks on the USA-based Billboard 200 album chart, the longest duration in history. It also has the fifth highest selling album globally of all time, with more than 40 million units sold. Seven. Elvis Presley. Who doesn't know Elvis? This guy was literally the king of rock and roll from the late 1950s until his death in 1977. Elvis Aaron Presley was an American singer, musician, and actor. He's a cultural icon who gained the title of the king through his legendary music career. Presley began his career as one of the first performers of rockabilly before becoming a part of Sun Records' Million Dollar Quartet that featured artists Jerry Lee Lewis, Johnny Cash, and Carl Perkins. Elvis released such classic hits as Hound Dog, All Shook Up, and Heartbreak Hotel, just to name a few. His music was almost universally loved by everyone and anyone throughout his career. We would list some of the awards given to him by magazines, but he's received so many that we'd be literally sitting here for days reading them all off. That's how accomplished he is. Long live the king. 6. Tupac and Biggie Smalls so instead of having all of you complaining about us choosing one artist over the other, we decided it would be best for us to include both artists for their contributions to the rap genre, because arguably without these two, the genre wouldn't be as big as it is today. They're both referenced by other artists in interviews and their own music to the point of sounding cliché. Now, yes, Tupac is an incredible artist and was ahead of his time, but he didn't have the same kind of snazzy style that Biggie Smalls did. When it came to subject matter, he was decidedly apolitical and dispassionate and concerned with his own well-being and that of his immediate circle, instead of the ills of society. Now partner this up with Biggie's godlike flow and you're sure to have a hit single. However, it must be said that Tupac's contributions to the genre shouldn't mean any less, as Tupac had a very distinct voice and personality when it came to his music, as well as the fact that he had crossover appeal. Before Tupac hit the scene, only LL Cool J was really seen as being a rap artist who crossed over, and the only other real example at the time was Vanilla Ice, who only had a fraction of the crossover appeal that both Tupac and LL Cool J had. You can pretty much argue who was the better artist for years, however it all comes down to personal preference. Either way, without these two, rap music may not have gained the mainstream success it has. 5. The Beatles if you don't know the Beatles, then odds are you're either a child who has no previous knowledge of influential music, or you've just been living under a rock for the last 50 or so years. The Beatles are arguably the most influential rock band to ever exist. Originating from Liverpool, England, the band consisted of John Lennon, Paul McCartney, George Harrison, and Ringo Starr. They are one of the most commercially successful and critically acclaimed bands in the history of popular music. 
In the UK, the Beatles released more than 40 different singles, albums, and EPs that reached number one. This commercial success was repeated in many other countries. It was estimated that their record company, EMI, had sold over 1 billion discs and tapes worldwide by 1985. The Beatles have gained critical acclaim from many different magazine publications and large companies within the music industry, including an award for being the best-selling musical act of all time in the U.S. by the RIAA. They were ranked number one on Rolling Stone magazine's list of the 100 greatest artists of all time in 2004. Four. Nirvana Nirvana was an American rock band from Seattle that was formed by singer and guitarist Kurt Cobain and bassist Chris Novoselic in 1988. Nirvana went through a succession of drummers before settling on Dave Grohl, who joined the band in 1990 and who is now one of the world's most popular musicians, thanks to his success in Nirvana and the continued success in his current band, Foo Fighters. With the release of their second album, Nevermind, the band saw mainstream success thanks to their more sludgy and thick guitar tones that accompanied lyrics that took on themes like social alienation, apathy, and social prejudice. Despite the popular belief that Nirvana invented the grunge genre, they didn't, as the genre existed before the band was even formed. That being said, however, Nirvana was the band that brought the genre to mainstream popularity in the 1990s. 3. Michael Jackson It's hard not to include the king of pop on this list. Yes, he's had his fair share of incidents, there's no denying that. However, if there's one thing you can't deny, it's his illustrious music career. Michael got his start in the industry along with four of his brothers in what would become one of the most famous acts on the planet at that point in time, the Jackson 5. After the original Jackson 5 split, Michael moved on to his now legendary solo career that not only set the bar when it came to performing at live shows, but his presence, both live and in his music, was something that had never been seen prior to his solo career. Whether it was the moonwalking or the elaborately created music videos like Smooth Criminal and Thriller, he easily earned his title as the King of Pop. 2. Janis Joplin Originally starting out as the lead singer for the band Big Brother, Janis Joplin found solo success after splitting with the band in 1968. Her vocals were something completely different at the time, as not only did she have a truly unique sounding voice, but her vocal range was incredibly powerful, making her songs sound so much more emotional. She was considered by many to be the premier female blues vocalist. To put it into perspective, she was able to shine in a genre that at the time included artists like Jim Morrison, Jimi Hendrix, and Led Zeppelin. She was so successful, in fact, that after her death, many comparisons were made between her and Elvis Presley, which in itself is a pretty big compliment if you ask us. 1. David Bowie one of the more recent losses in the world of music, David Bowie was something special, as his music is essentially timeless. The sheer breadth and scope of his career, from the music hall roots to his glam explosion, plastic soul period, and kraut rock experiments, has provided countless modern acts with their impetus to plug in and play. His music is so memorable that even if you don't know David Bowie, odds are you've probably heard one of his songs and have liked it without even realizing it was from him. Bowie was one of the pioneers of the industry, thanks to his uniquely odd style and sound, as well as how creative he was with lyrics, album covers, and music videos. He even managed to turn his death into a work of art, which we know sounds crazy, but he kept his illness a secret, and it wasn't revealed until after his death. Two days after he died, he released what would be his final record, Black Star, on his birthday, along with a music video for his new single, Lazarus, which features Bowie laying on a deathbed throughout the video. He wanted to go out with a bang, and he did just that. Don't forget to like us and subscribe for more Elite Facts.